Hello Kieskination and today's lesson I am going to talk about intervals. An interval is basically the distance between two notes. Why are intervals important in music? Intervals are important because it's going to help you train your ear to recognize the distance between two notes. Knowing your intervals will help you hear melody and harmonies more clearly. I know you might be saying right now, hey, look, it's too much talking. Let's dive into this. How can we find intervals in music? What are they named? Well, you are about to find out right now. Let's do this. Like I said in the previous lesson, uh, the piano has seven white notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one. And one, two. five black notes so the intervals is between the white and the black keys so the first one is is C and D sharp this interval called minor second minor second the, the second one is the C and D it called major second this interval called minor third and the next one is major third. The next one is C and F, and it's called perfect fourth. The next one is augmented fourth. The next one is perfect fit. The next interval is minor sixth. The next one is major sixth. The next interval is minor seven. And the next one is major seven. And the next interval is octave. Like I said, the, the interval is going to help you create the relationship between the tonic and every other note in the key. Let's go over this uh, intervals uh, one more time. So this time I'm going to do it with some demonstration. For example, the first word is minor semitone. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, play a melody. Okay, let's change the sound to another one. Yes. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is to go over the intervals one more time, but with some example. Uh, that doesn't mean that's the way you should use intervals because there's multiple ways you could use them. But I'm going to give you an example on each of them. And you probably hear them, but you don't know what they are. So by practicing your intervals, knowing where to place them will help you become a better musician. All right, I have this song. Everybody know it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to play this major... This... 7 chord but inverted and play the melody line with the 
with the minor semitone. Listen to this. I mean, you could do crazy things. You know, it's up to you to experiment with, with the intervals. They very useful when it's come to playing. So you might you want to catch people off guard and do some some crazy like this all right so let's go to the second one the second one is a major second this one right there I mean, they use this in worship a lot. It's up to you to experiment with your intervals. For example. Next one is the minor third. For example, that's why I praise you. If you want. And, and I and I magnify your name. Okay. Okay, so see? stuff like that all right so the third one is major third Perfect fourth. Ah. Perfect fourth. I mean, if, when you know them, I mean, we'll, you know, give you. We'll give you, you know, and give another color to your music. You know, stuff like that. For example, uh, and uh, um, I mean they usually use the use it as passing chord, or even you know use it as chord. For example, let let's go from four. Perfect fourth right there. Right there. 
perfect fourth know them guys you know just learn them this another uh, interval gospel musician use a lot which is tritone is 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 augmented fourth but it's the call tritone so so I encourage you guys to learn those intervals because it's going to make put, you know, it's going to get your playing to another level, trust me. All right. Let's go over in the next example. Most of the beginners, they, 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 they know perfect fit. This one right there, uh, the, the augmented, the augmented fifth or or minus six, the minus six. What I do, so let's see. You got a one and six, two, five, and one. Sample. What I do. that I could give you with you know along with those intervals X major six minus seven major seven when you know all these things and you just experiment with them you will develop your ear to know where to place all those intervals I encourage you to practice the small thing small thing will you know pays off trust me thank you for watching and see you in the next video for another lesson don't forget to subscribe to my channel any question feel free to ask you can also follow me on Facebook by simply typing my name or Instagram at keys simply keys remember you are the reason why I'm created this platform for those who know me show my face on camera is not my thing but I have a mission and my mission is to help you grow the best possible way I can if I think about you in this level while I'm helping you grow help someone else grow also by simply share the channel with them anyone you know so at the end we can become a big happy family Kiaska Nation, I'm out. See you in another adventure of music.